Well, a very good afternoon to you once again, coming to you live from the Nelson Mandela Center of Memory here in Houghton, in Johannesburg, where on the eve of the first anniversary of the passing of former President Nelson Mandela, here today we're expecting tribute to be paid to him. One of the speakers was expected to touch on the legacy of Nelson Mandela and how that is to be preserved. He's the Minister of Science and Technology, Naledi Pando. Minister, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Certainly reflection for South Africans uh, a year on, where we've been uh, a year after Nelson Mandela, how do we preserve that legacy? You're expected to touch quite a lot on that uh, this afternoon. Uh, let's talk about the past year without Nelson Mandela, first of all. Well, I think um, I can't believe it's one year uh, later, and I think it just it feels almost like yesterday, and that is testimony to the impact of of the man. Um, I think everybody today is talking about him, and I'm sure tomorrow uh, millions of South Africans will be remembering uh, former President Mandela. So his uh, impact. Um, on our lives is still felt today. And I think uh, when one uh, thinks about this year, um, it's gone well. I think uh, we've managed to uh, preserve the dignity of the person and uh, I think remembered who he, he is and was and really carried through the year uh, with aplomb. Uh, perhaps a credit to our country is the fact that we had a fifth uh, successful uh, democratic election. And of course his organization, the African National Congress, uh, did well in, in the elections. How should South Africans remember Nelson Mandela a year on? Well, I think uh, rather than uh, bewailing uh, uh, the uh, challenges that we have, I believe South Africans must ask themselves, what can we do to make the legacy live? Because I think what uh, Mr. Mandela wanted was not a legacy of memory, it was a living legacy. And so uh, the question I think we should all ask ourselves, rather than saying we're disappointing Mr. Mandela, we're not doing as well as we should, we should be saying my effort has been this much and it has led to the following, or have I made an effort? Uh, because uh, if we're failing, it's because of what we're not doing. If we're succeeding, it's because of the effort uh, we're making. So if we're not doing as much as we believe you would have liked us to do, let us ask how much more and what actually should we be doing? How do we preserve such a rich legacy, Minister? I mean, I want to make reference to something that has absolutely nothing to do with this evening, but uh, just yesterday we saw a High Court ruling prohibiting the sale of the autopsy of Steve Biko. Uh, you know, with the preservation of Tata Nelson Mandela's legacy, uh, it's, uh, post his death, that certainly has not been without controversy from his family as well. Uh, certainly that aspect on its own uh, would need to be dealt with, uh, perhaps by those who are in charge of preserving this legacy? Well, certainly uh, preservation is important, archiving and credit to the foundation uh, for what it has done thus far, as well as its partners. I think the digitizing of his personal papers was an extremely important step. Um, what we're going to see today, the unveiling of all the commemorative uh, uh, books, uh, the condolence books uh, that were available throughout South Africa. So I think that what it does is begin to say to South Africa, we have a history. Let us preserve it, because the history is of value, uh, both to the future generations as well as to ourselves. We also, I think, from the side of research, would hope we're going to be writing a whole range of books that we'll see many more documentaries. Uh, there's a rich source of material. I think the SABC has done an incredible amount. And uh, it's for us to look at how do we use uh, that material. Countries that have been successful at preserving the histories of significant individuals have really used archival material well. What libraries should we be building? What kind of theme should we have that reflects the individual and the society? Because remember, Mr. Mandela wouldn't want only 
to be talked of as Mandela alone. He was very much a collective person. Right, uh, the Minister of Science and Technology, thank you very much for joining us. Now, Lady Pando, they're speaking about the legacy of Nelson Mandela, how South Africans should remember him. Uh, this on the eve of, uh, of course, the first anniversary of the passing of Nelson Mandela.